kitchen. Now, I don't know if you've seen them, but one thing that I'm loving at the moment are the small geometric cake hearts. So for this week's video tutorial, I thought I would show you how I make them and some different designs that you can create. Now, for some of my cake hearts, I'm gonna be decorating these with some sprinkles, and I'm so excited to be using the Happy Sprinkles. Now, Happy Sprinkles offer these really pretty pots of themed sprinkle mixes, and they've kindly given me a 10% off voucher code to give to all of you. So all you have to do to get 10% off any of their sprinkles is just enter Happy Lins 10 at the checkout of the Happy Sprinkle website or over on the website of the cake decorating company. Okay, let's get started. So the things I'm gonna need in order to make my cake hearts is first of all, I've got my silicone mold. Now this one just has space to make six different hearts and they've just got this geometric shape on the inside. I've then got my cake. Now for these ones I'm using cupcakes, but you can just use any cake. So whether you bake a cake, especially for these, or if you've got any off cuts of cake left over, I've then got a small batch of vanilla buttercream, some white candy melts, or if you'd prefer, you could use chocolate. I'm just using white candy melts and I'm gonna color them myself. To color the candy melts, I'm gonna be using some of the color mill colors. Now, these are oil-based colors and if you're coloring candy melts or chocolate, you need to make sure that the colors that you're using are oil-based. If they're water-based, which a lot of gel colors are, as soon as you add that color into your chocolate, it's gonna seize up and it will become very stiff and you won't be able to spread it inside your mold. I've then got a few tubs of my Happy Sprinkles. And lastly, I've just got a piping bag and some paintbrushes that I'm gonna use to create some different effects on the hearts. Now, I will put a link in the description below to all the tools that I've used throughout today's video. So under the video, you just click the show more, or if you're on a mobile, there's a small arrow underneath the video. Okay, so for my cake hearts, I'm gonna do three different designs. So two of each, and I'm gonna start with a very simple pattern color one that we can add sprinkles onto. So I'm going to start by melting down my candy melts using the microwave, just popping them in for intervals of around 10 to 15 seconds at a time, making sure that I stir those through. I'm going to take some of the really pretty pink rose color by Color Mill and just put a small amount. Just keep adding more until you're happy with the color. Now for each of my hearts, I'm gonna use around a teaspoon and a half and using the back of my spoon, or if you've got a really small spatula, I'm gonna bring that up the side. But we will be going in for a second coating. Now, as we're using our candy melts, if they do start to thicken up, we just wanna pop the glass back in the microwave just to soften those up so that we're able to smooth them within our mold. So there we have our first layer in our first two hearts. Now I'm using a knife just to run over the edge, taking off any excess. Now for the second design, I'm gonna create a black and white polka dot design. So I'm gonna take some of my white candy melts and pop those in the microwave to melt those down. I'm gonna be using the black color mill color. Now another way if you didn't wanna color your candy melts is you can buy pre-colored candy melts. Then take a small paintbrush and paint my dots inside my mold. Now you want to keep the mixture quite thick on your brush and the great thing about these is they don't have to be perfect circles. So I'm making sure that I add them to the base of the heart and also up the side. Just going in I'm going to add a few small one. Now, one of the reasons that I like using candy melts to create my design within my silicone mold is so that when you remove it, you've got a nice shiny texture on the outside. Now, I have found that if you try and paint candy melts afterwards, the edible paint just doesn't dry. So once all of those dots have been added in, I'm gonna leave those there just to dry while I add my final design. For my third design, I want to make it look like it's got small little roses painted on the outside. So I'm gonna melt down some of my white candy melts. Now, in order to use them as a paint, a little bit like we used with the black dots, I have found that the Deco Melts by Fun Cakes work a little bit better as they are slightly runnier than some of the other candy melts. I'm then gonna use some of that rose color that we used before. I've then got some of the raspberry color. So it's a slightly darker pink and also some of the mint green. So I'm gonna use this one for the leaves. Take 
taking a really small brush. If I show you on my paint palette, the type of design that we're trying to create is it's quite hard to see it with the pink on the pink silicone mold. So you wanna take some of that lighter pink candy melt on your brush. I'm just creating curved lines. I can then take some of that darker pink and I'm just going within some of those gaps. I'm trying to create a small rose. I've then got some of the green and I'm gonna go in, create two small leaves. So we get this really vintage looking rose design. So if I do that inside my mold, just going back and forward, curved lines, just building up until I've got a circle, which is around a centimeter in diameter. Now you do have to work quite quickly. So if those candy melts do start to harden up, you just wanna pop the tray or the plate that you're using in the microwave. Once that's been painted inside, I'm gonna do exactly the same with my last space. Now you don't have to paint roses, you can use this technique to paint any design on the inside of your mold. Once you're happy with those roses, I'm gonna pop my mold in the fridge for a few minutes to make sure that the black dots and the roses have fully dried before I add a background color to them. I've just melted down some more of those bright white candy melts. Fill up each of the remaining hearts. So first of all, going over those black dots. Now you want to make sure that the temperature of your candy melts are just cooled down slightly so you don't melt any of those dots. So I'm putting one and a half teaspoons in each part. Now I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for around 10 minutes so that I know that that first layer has completely hardened. Going back in, first of all, with the pink that we had left over, building up that side and that top edge, especially just around the point of that heart. Doing exactly the same with the white. So if you see any areas that look a little bit thin or anywhere you've missed, making sure that I leave a nice big gap in the center for us to add our cake mixture. Then gonna pop this back in the fridge for a few more minutes. Whilst those are in the fridge, I'm gonna prepare my cake. So I've got some cupcakes. And again, if you've got any off cuts, you can use those. So any flavor of your choice. Going in, crumbling those down until we get a mixture that resembles breadcrumbs. Taking a small piece at a time, I'm gonna add some of my buttercream, mixing that in. Now, if you've seen any of my Cakesicle videos, this is the same kind of mixture and the same as if you were creating cake bobs. So we're looking for the cake to start clinging together as if it's a dough. So I've used three heat tablespoons for three cupcakes. Now each cake heart is gonna need around 22 grams, meaning this cake mixture is gonna make around 12 cake hearts. So you can use more or less depending on how many you're going to make. So my hearts have come out of the fridge. Take a knife and just run it over the top, just getting rid of that excess candy melt on the edge. I've got my cake mixture that we made. So I'm taking a small ball of that and just pushing that into my mold. Make sure that you're leaving a slight gap at the top. So we've got enough space to add some of those candy melts onto the back just to seal up our cake hearts. Now I've just warmed up the leftovers and I'm gonna pop some on the back. So you'll need just over a teaspoon for each one. I'm then gonna use my offset spatula and just smooth that down and take off any excess, making sure at the same time all that cake has been covered. Once they've all been sealed up, I'm gonna pop these back in the fridge for a few minutes until they're completely firm so that we can turn them out of the mold and finish decorating. I'm then gonna take my mold and just turn those out and that's gonna give us our first pink heart. Then I'm gonna take all of those out. And next we get the spotted ones. Now the third design is our roses. 
We then get this really pretty rose design. Now on the edges, we just have this slight overhang. And just using a knife, just run that gently along the edge. And as you can see, by painting that pattern inside our mold, it really becomes part of the shell rather than being painted on the top. Now to finish off your cake hearts, you can either leave them as they are, or I'm gonna use some of my happy sprinkles. Now the rose ones, I'm just gonna leave them with this design, but I'm gonna add some of my royal glitter happy sprinkles to the pink ones, and some of my happily ever after onto my spotted ones. Now in the royal glitter mix, we have a really pretty selection of large gold sprinkles, some lighter and some darker pink strands and balls. So I'm going to use some of those. Now to make my sprinkles stick, I've melted down some more of that white candy melt, popping it into a piping bag, snip off a really small opening at the end. I'm then going to start before my heart. So I'm going to apply a small amount of pressure until those candy melts start to drip out. Move it backwards and forwards across the corner pick out some of those sprinkles. Now, if you do find that your candy melt dries really quickly, you can take some edible glue and just stick some of those sprinkles down. So there we have our pink cake heart. And I'm gonna do the same for my other one. For the polka dot ones, I'm gonna do exactly the same with the candy melts, but I'm gonna use this happily ever after mix. Now, this one is so pretty and it just has these shimmery white sprinkles mixed in with these metallic silver ones. Again, starting slightly away from the edge, just so you get a nice thin line and then taking some of these sprinkles over the top. just gives a really pretty effect. So you can either choose with the sprinkles or without. So here we have the three different designs of the geometric cake hearts and I just think they look so pretty. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and let me know in the comments below which design is your favourite. And don't forget that if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, you can subscribe to the Case by Lens YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. So until next time, bye!